Just broke it. Well, hi, you. Aren't you just beautiful? Oh, no, a half inch of rain yesterday. The temp just started dropping. Are the lakes safe to ride on? You mean a free freaking car wash for sleds? Heck yeah, bud. Let's go wash our skin. Cleaner than it was. Yep. Uh, yeah, so we washed our sled for today. The day is finally here. It is the hot dog cookout on First Lake we're going down to. I haven't even went outside and looked at my sled yet from yesterday's slush. I was thinking about it this morning like, hey, I just got this thing freaking soaked. Didn't wipe it down, put it in the trailer, and then it dropped to below freezing. So the whole thing's probably covered in ice. Guess we're going to find out. Also, why I got the heated seat. It's like a defroster. If there's any ice on the seat, just kidding. We're going to head down there and have ourselves a great day for a great cause. We've got the essentials. We've got the Freedom a tank top that is wrinkled to all get out. But we also have the wig. And we're going to be doing some crazy stuff today. Ah! Packing the essentials quick in the Nielsen's bag. And we are ready to rock. It is weenie time, guys. We just got here. He's got the card out. A uh, bunch of sleds here already. We got a strip. Uh, he just blew his side panel off, but um, I like the sound of these turbo sleds already. Big Mark, he's going for a hit. Before we get too far into the shenanigans here, just wanted to put this disclaimer in there quick. I got my snow check hat on. I am a certified dummy, guys. I know this, um, but I just want to put this out there. I do not condone or endorse trying to do this yourself or riding around on a frequent basis like an idiot. Like I said, this was a previously agreed upon thing. Um, the whole reason I did this was to get the hype up, you know, meet all you guys, take pictures, make it a, fu a funner day. Also, just wanted to thank you guys for coming out and making the donations that you did. The whole point of this was to raise money for our first responders. The job they do, the stuff they see on a daily basis, we're lucky to have them. And that is the reason I did this, guys. Pre-planned, staged, we had stuff in place. I did not host this event, guys. I helped the people who did. We had a safe day all around. Like I said, always wear a helmet. Be safe out there on a regular riding basis. And let's get back into it.
Guys, I lost count of how many people came up to me and recognized the stuff and took pictures. It was an awesome day. Thank you for all you guys. It just, it meant a lot, but uh, we started having some problems here. So take a look. Yes, guys, I thought I blew it up here. Um, as you know, I already followed the plug around the 400 mile mark uh, in the last video. Um, everything about this seemed like it was a motor issue and not a plug again. Um, I got off my slide to go grab a buddy and, and talk to him quick. And when I came back, Zach and Mike already had my whole sled apart. We decided we were going to try a plug. I cannot thank my friends enough, guys. It's not the place, it's the people. I don't know what I would do without them. They're always helping me with my shenanigans, but we tried a plug and then this happened. Um, you can't, you can't get the what? I can't get this one. Which one? That one? Yeah. Hold on. Take it off. Let's just put the hood on. Why put the hood back on? Yeah, so then if it has a chuck edge, like, back to wheelies. All right, Jack, it's coming back up. <laughs> All right, so our, our mood changed a little bit. It was just a plug, again, for the second time. But, like I just told them, we didn't buy a Polaris two-stroke turbo uh, for a long time. We bought it for a good time. Will do. So far on the channel, guys, I love making videos. I love trying to make you laugh, but when it comes to the informative and review stuff, I try to be as unbiased and accurate as possible. Why don't you guys to check out the plug? I kept it from a couple of days ago. Three days later, you can just see how wet it is still. Craziness. Um, it'll be interesting to see for the 24 year if uh, Polaris makes any tweaks or changes to the ECU 
because for us Flatlanders, and I've heard this from a couple people, these things are running super rich. If that's the price of pay to play to enjoy a turbocharged two stroke, so be it. No, I'm just kidding. But real note, guys, this thing, um, I'm on my third set of plugs with this already in uh, 790 miles. So that is just something that I've noticed. No serious problems yet, but it is eating plugs like the Cookie Monster. <laughs> Oh, what do you want me to say, buddy? I don't know. Just say something stupid. I don't know. Oh, you're good at that. Blake here. We got the blues, dude. You know what I mean? We're out here. Beautiful day in uh, Canada. Um, so I thought I blew the sled up. Didn't blow it up. Uh, we just filed a plug. Things are good. Uh, and we're ready to go do some wheelies again. Uh, shout out to this guy right here holding the phone. Freedom, baby. Whee! Got all that stuff squared away. I'm loving this sled so far. Uh, as you guys know, uh, Mr. Tony here, he's been a big part of this channel to this point. I wanted him to take a pass on it since it's been broken in. Um, just by chance, he lined up with a Boost VR1. So what a better way to compare them. shocked by the results guys i thought the vr1 would pull a little bit harder than the assault up top obviously there's a lot of variables in drag racing i think tony weighs a little bit more than this guy too but uh it doesn't get better for a comparison video between the vr1 and the assault very very pleased two sleds i wanted to give special recognition to and highlight were aj's two stroke 800 which is ridiculous and stewie's horn button sled which you've also seen before but you haven't seen it like this full kill tune now uh he's got a little more pep in his step both of them have their merits. I guess you guys can choose. What do you like better? Built boosted two strokes or built boosted uh, four strokes? Let me know below. and we're also over 300 horse. The feeling of that is like nothing else. The sound is... Oh my God. That thing is awesome. What a difference. 
What an awesome day that we had, though, guys. I just wanted to thank you again for coming out, uh, showing your support, making the donations that you did. It goes a long, long way for a good cause. Um, I don't know who this was here, but this was freaking hilarious. Guy just pulls up with a truck and starts hauling down the lake. We are going to wrap up the video here, though, guys. Uh, stay on the lookout. We are heading to Back Lake, New Hampshire in like a week, week and a half. Super excited. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Wee!